Hello everyone, this is your friend Srikanth. Welcome you for our next video which focused on tips for paper writing for a theoretical subject. In last previous lecture, we had a discussion on engineering graphics, how to attempt a paper. Now this video focuses on how to write in all theoretical subjects with the tips, few tricks which you need to remember. So here we go. It's all about managing your study and presenting in the exam in the best format, in the best possible way. So, we'll discuss in this lecture for all theoretical subject including physics, chemistry, electrical, electronics and engineering mathematics as well. Few points, important topics, how you are going to attempt in the exam. So, you should remember in exam you have a time of uh, 2 hours where you need to attempt total 4 questions for 50 marks so you have very less time to represent one question of 6 marks in maximum 6 to as a 6 or 4 marks question you, need, you have a time of 15 or 17 minutes so you should remember that 17 minutes you need to distinguish in the format of diagram and explanation so always remember Examiner is not going to read every answer, every answer sheet line by line. So you need to be learn concept from all the topic. That is your first key point for all subject to remember. You should learn the concept, understand it so that you can explain properly in the exam. Second for a short note question, which is maybe rules, laws or state something. For such kind of question, you need to write maximum 4 to 6 points or lines. It should not be paragraph or essay writing as shown in the diagrams. It is just for understanding purpose. So, we start with some physics and chemistry, few theoretical concept and topic. For example, from physics I have taken Meissner effect. So, this diagram should have proper arrows and uh, as condition mentioned below to the diagram as T is greater than TC and less than TC which indicates yes you know everything about this diagram so diagram should be self explanatory and proportionate next is from a chemistry very important topic bomb calorimeter so what you can write here just below or above to the diagram as what is the function of a calorimeter or when we use a bomb calorimeter then this diagram should contain this very fantastic diagram you can see in this uh, bomb then this coils so you should draw a proportionate diagram at the center of the page so that you can explain very properly diagrams and labeling is very very essential so yes for theoretical papers you need to focus on diagram its explanations accordingly so diagram should be self explanatory so next for numerical subject maybe you can consider engineering mathematics or maybe basic electrical in this subject you have a lot of formulas equations so when you are going to prepare this formulas and equation prepare it proper with understanding and its unit and converges for diagram as I mentioned for all the subject you need to draw a very neat proportionate and the label correct diagram at the center of the page because for every subject maximum weightage is for correct labeled and proportionate diagram next from a chemistry I have taken one very important like topic how to write in this subject for example I have taken boiler corrosion caustic embrittlement topic because in books you may find a lot of theoretical explanation you may get confused for six marks how to write and how much write so in bullet format I explain caustic embrittlement so first is it is a type of corrosion why it is caused it is because of alkaline water and this I explained with some reaction that is Na2CO3 plus water is gives some product always remember in chemistry you need to write a correct balance reaction without correct balance reaction for rest of the theory you, you won't get any marks so for chemistry drawing proportionate correct diagram as well as mentioning a correct balance equation that's reaction is very very important so yes in this format you can mention the answers now coming back to again ele basic electronics where you get uh, maximum conceptual diagram circuit diagram based question so here I explained full wave rectifier and LVDT say this self explanatory diagram full wave rectifier which completely explain its working because here they are mentioned as first half cycle from A to C and second half odd cycle 
and uh, mention proper arrows when D1 conducts and when D2 conducts. So when you are going to draw and diagram, it should have proper proportions as well as self-explanation. Similarly, below to this diagram, resultant output waveform is drawn properly so that you can refer for your exam. So once your diagram is self-explanatory, you can explain hardly in four to five points. You'll get full marks. Same for LVDT. You can see this animation to understand what's the working LVDT. So yes, you can draw this primary coil when core is moving from one secondary to another one. Accordingly, output is generated so that once you understood, you can explain in four to five points. There's one more topic from a basic electrical, which is a very important from exam point of view. So this diagram which I found on the Google like RLC series circuit. In this, they have drawn a diagram with proper notations as well as they have mentioned its output in the waveform just below to the diagram. For example, they have mentioned R, L and C capacitor, inductance and resistor and along to with respect to the same diagram they have drawn waveforms means just above the resistor they have drawn we are in phase and they have drawn some waveform similarly for inductor so yes this you can refer when you are going to draw any circuit diagram remember proper arrowheads notations you need to follow which will give you very good marks last very important we are talking about now engineering mathematics one so from unit number one, if you are going to prepare first this very important topic eigenvalues and eigenvectors, you will get one question, 100% for four marks. Along with this, another topic is system of linear equations. So if you are solving all the numericals from these two topics, you will get the two questions for four marks. Then next series we can see Lebanese theorem and Taylor series expansion again these are the two hot topics are very important if you prepare this two topic again you'll get two four marks question in exam 100% now unit number five that's very important again it is having maximum weightage of 13 marks so here you need to prepare Euler's theorem given variable to be treated as a constant and change independent variables and the last topic as unit number six is contains a lot of topics there is no any specific topic, this 100% it will be coming in exam, but still you need to prepare this topic which is very important and simple also that is errors and approximation and maxima minima for two variables. So from eigenvalues and system of linear equation, by chance if it comes into the same question like question number 1a and 1b, you may get 8 marks or maybe you may get minimum 4 marks here. Same for Leibniz theorem and Taylor series. If it is in the combined question number 3a and 3b, you may get 8 marks here. But minimum 4 marks from first two set and 4 marks from second two set. But last three topics, that is Euler's theorem and independent variable and given variable to be treated as constant, they are very important is for 13 marks. So with this very important topic, you just do a practice from all previous question papers and go for practice of numerical subject. So this is what I have just summarized all these things. When you are going to prepare any topic from a, let's say from basic electronics or physics or chemistry, otherwise you should have a habit on the same topic what kind of tricky question can be asked. So you should know what kind of questions can be asked for the same topic. And a very very important last, please don't mug up any topic, you need to understand it in a very super fine way. So always you should have an approach to learn the topic in an application point of view, so that you can explain in a very fine way in the exam. Last minute preparation, as like when you prepare you are going for exam, please be calm and confident because once you are prepared for exam, don't try to judge yourself at the last moment. Be confident which will give you a very good marks in the exam and that confidence you require 100%. And now whatever we are discussed till now, I am just summarizing few points to remember for writing a theory paper. So yes, so first, this is when we are going to check a papers, what we find out are common mistakes, important points that I have highlighted here. 
first when you write in any theory point for example for maybe electronics physics chemistry in all subject ensure you are not going to write anything in the paragraphs it should be in the bullet points second very important it's when you're going to draw diagrams any drawing flow chart that should be self-explanatory and instead of drawing or instead of mentioning theoretical paragraphs you should try to draw a diagrams flow chart or tree diagram which will give you a very good marks and good impressions next when you are going to write in theory answers use black or blue color pens black you can use for highlighting the points write concept clearly highlight it very important if you sure about some technical answer then only you need to highlight it at very last while drawing in any diagram or maybe circuit diagram mathematical equation remember you need to write a proper equations notations its units for circuit diagram you need to mention proper arrows current directions ray diagram proper plus minus signs etc and at the last i conclude this lecture with the time management of the exam we'll be having a uh, four marks question for 10 to 12 minutes so accordingly need to manage the time to draw a diagram and its theory similarly for five or six marks theory question maximum time you'll get is 15 to 17 minutes approximately so yes you need to manage that 17 minutes so accordingly write six bullet points as explanation and the self explanatory diagram so i hope you guys like this video so if you have any suggestions please comment in the comment section thank you